uh, we're going to make a I'm going to make a new update video here. Um, so you'll see the first thing I have open is I have the Forge open. Uh, Tarks he made he's the guy that did the coding for the sounds. Uh, he saw that uh, that uh, we were working on Gwydion and I uh, independently were working on different ways to get sound out of Fantasy Grounds, and he saw that what I was doing with the VLC player, and he kind of like went crazy on it. So he made this extension totally integrated it into the sound settings um, and so first off you're gonna do is subscribe to this it is for the price of zero coins so it's free okay so you're gonna subscribe to this he tells you a little go by about how to set it up but for me all I had to do was download VLC version 2.0 okay and um, this extension I had to do some settings in 2.0. We'll talk about later in the video. My previous video, everything I did in that video still stands with regard to Kinku and all that. And so, um, uh, but we'll do that at the end. So I want to talk about what's what's happening in Fantasy Rounds. Now, the purpose of this video, before I forget, is to pipe sound into Discord without having to pay a Serenscape subscription. And so we're going to use uh, a couple of, uh, two programs, and we're going to install... Uh, virtual cable it's all really easy to do and um, we're gonna pipe it right into discord so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna buy this uh, VLC support uh, for fantasy grounds all right so uh, when we do that now I'm showing you old-school essentials but um, this will work with you know 5e or anything and and, and with 5e you 5e guys really are gonna uh, be able to do some more things that uh, the rest of us don't have access to yet so we're gonna open up this little sound context menu all right we're gonna hit settings now you'll see this uh, button was added VLC all right so we're gonna click on that button and you can see I've already added some sound files to test um, there's a routing path here it's gonna be set to the default when you set up your VLC player if you for some reason decide to change this you'll have to go in there and change it this is the default though okay um, for your VLC web player um, uh, file import you want to make sure you import your files under this VLC heading you don't want to do it under the file or the Serenscape so it wants to be under the VLC heading uh, when you do the file import I think Doug showed you guys this in another video you can uh, easily you can just go into here um, and this is update because I didn't know what I was doing in my previous video but this is very easy to do you just go in here you can highlight them all you hold down shift and you right click and then you do copy path all right and then you paste the ball right there and then you just do file import and when you do that it's going to import all these sound files so uh, and you could just play these right here no problem at all okay uh, we'll hit this stop button okay so so once you do that he added this other little thing which is pretty handy is this controls he said he's going to add a little shortcut link here so we can drag it to the hot bar. But here you can easily adjust the volume, right? You can mute the volume, you can stop all sounds, you can turn and make it loop. So, so pretty handy. All right, so now we're gonna talk about triggers. So um, if you go into, uh, if you're playing in 5e and you look at the store, the store page here, they have these Serenscape sound link packs Okay, now what this is, this is a series of sound records that Doug made, right? You can see all these sound sets here that work in 5e, okay? And right here, there's a little sound. You can see there's a sound uh, uh, link that's going to link to the Serenscape web player. But what you can do is you can buy this. These are editable records, okay? And when you get them into Fantasy Grounds, you would open your record. You would unlock it, okay? And you can actually remove that web link, and then all you have to do is come over here to where you loaded your new sound settings and you can you can drop it in there right and what the advantage of that is is all the sound triggers have been made for you Doug made them all for you right and now this sound will play in VLC so if in this case it's a new round this is just one that I made up if I do a new round it's gonna play uh, that sound I don't know if OBS is letting you hear that, but um, uh, that's basically uh, every time you click a new round, it triggers it via chat. And 
there it goes. Okay, so um, that's the advantage if you go and you buy these triggers for 5e, okay? Um, it's going to save you a ton of time. If not, then you're going to have to make up your own sound set triggers. And to do that, you could just do, there's chat, content. Uh, we're going to do uh, chat triggers, right? And uh, you add a pattern. We could do, um, like maybe it's uh, in OSC, it might be slain, right? And then I would take a, um, a sound file that I want to use, like... Oh, look, let's do this one. Bloodshed. What is that? Oh, that's a music. Let's see if we can find. I haven't set all these up yet, but we could just do whatever. We could take this whoosh and drag it in here. And any time, you know, someone gets slain, it's going gonna, it's gonna to show that. So, um, anyways, Fantasy Grounds has, Doug has like a 42-minute video going through this. So, I'm not going to go through this. I wanted to show the VLC controls. So, that's basically it for uh, VLC. All right, so that's that's how you basically set that up at Fantasy Grounds. That was super fast. I realized that. Um, like I said, Doug has a, um, a a big video on how to do, do triggers more specifically. If you're not running 5e, you're going to have to set up your own for now. If you are running 5e, then just buy what's on the store. They did it it's like 500 records all set up ready to go for you just you just edit the sounds all right so once you get fantasy ground set up you now need to get a couple of programs so the first is kinko fm it's, it says buy now for whatever price suits you so you can send them a couple of bucks or you cannot send them a couple of bucks you know just send them a couple of bucks all right so you download kinko fm all right the next thing you're going to do is in tarx's forge uh file he has a link you want to download VLC 2.0 and so you could just do the you know win 32 7 zip and you're going to install that all right one of the things you definitely want to do once you um, let's go to rule sets and let's go to sound is once you get VLC installed you want to go in here you want to right click uh, properties and you want to make sure it opens with VLC Media 2.0. And you just click Change, and then you're going to select it from the list, okay? So that's going to set the default <clears throat> for all your music files. Um, you know, with Tarx extension, I don't know if that's necessarily required anymore. <laughs> I haven't tested it the other way. With the extension I was writing, it was required because I was just opening up sound file links. But just better be safe than sorry. We'll, we'll set our mp3s and WAV files to open up with VLC. I'll have to test that to see if that's actually required. All right, so we've downloaded King QFM. We've downloaded VLC 2.0. Um, and then the last thing we have to do is download this virtual audio device, okay? All you do is you download it and you install it. That's all you have to do. You don't do anything else. You, you, uh, it just it, it works out of the box. And so what we're basically going to do is, is we're going to take... Um, VLC, okay, and imagine there's like a cord coming out of VLC here. We're going to plug in one side of our cord to VLC, and then that's going to get plugged in to Kinku FM, okay? So we're connecting VLC through the virtual audio cable to Kinku FM, and to do that, we go to tools, we go to preferences. So the first thing we do is we go to audio and um, we want to make sure that the output module, okay, so it's default, enable auto, we're gonna show all settings. Let's go look at audio again. Output, wave out. All right, so we click on the wave out, it's a little different than 3.0. So we click on the wave out button and we make sure we select our virtual audio cable. Pretty easy, right? So you can see I have lots of stuff in here, but we're gonna make sure it's selected to our virtual audio cable. The next thing we wanna do is we wanna go to an interface. All right, and we want to go to main interfaces and we wanna make sure web is selected. All right, so 
because this all operates through the web interface from Fantasy Grounds because you're opening, Fantasy Grounds is basically opening up web links to control VLC. Um, we're going to click on our Lua. We're going to make sure this says uh, localhost. For here, I just put a password in there for admin. Um, I, I under using 2.0 and using Tarx extension, I don't even we don't even use that anymore. Um, it's all seamless. So, uh, but this is how I had it set up. Um, so you probably don't even have to do this anymore. Um, and then um, that's it. All right, you click save and you get out of there. And then on Kinku, we want to go down to. Um, we want to show. Make sure we have external inputs is selected and once you do that you're going to have your inputs here we want to make sure our virtual audio cable is selected all right and then um, it's going to bring us to you're not going to see this yet because uh, one thing you have to do is you have to go uh, to discord and you have to create a bot so let's just google create a discord bot all right, and when you hit that, um, I did that to show you this. Like, this is the first thing that comes on, up on Google. It tells you exactly how to do it. But quickly, what you do is you would go into your Discord. So you can see I'm in, in my Discord. I'm talking to Tarks there. Let's, let's go here. And then we're going to go to um, Advanced. And then we're going to toggle this to Developer Mode. And then once you do that, you can click on this Discord API. Right, and that looks like this. It's going to put you on this page, and you'll see I'm logged in. So you may have to log in. So then you just click on Applications, <clears throat> and so you see I have a SoundBot 2.0 here. You're going to click on New Application, and you're going to give it a name. We're going to say YouTube SoundBot, okay? And then you would create it. All right, and that's going to take you into something that looks like this. So I gave it a name. You can clean it up however you want to um, the important thing you need out of this there are two things let me find it bot okay all right you're going to need to get your token now I've already gotten my token so the only way to view it is if I reset it I'm not going to do that but when you get your token for this bot you want to copy and paste it into like a text file because you're going to need that and then the next thing you want to do is you want to set up bot permissions and so what I would do is I would just go over here and select all of these things and then I would hit um, and then you're done okay you don't need to do anything else I'm not doing it he's already set up so we're not doing it hope you can see my email there okay so um, that's pretty much how it works now all of you that have a discord channel you know how to add a bot to your discord channel and so you're gonna add your new bot to your discord channel and then once you get to Kinku, you're going to go up there and you're going to paste that token right here. And you're going to get a connect, right? And when you do that, it's going to connect to that bot that's in your Discord channel. And so you can actually see my voice channels. And because what I did was, let's go to, let's put him in yield voice. All right, you could see now he's in yield voice because you could actually go and you could use him and set his roles, right? So I could allow him access to these channels. All right, so now he's in my Discord channel. So what basically what happens now is when I go into Fantasy Grounds and I play a sound, let's see if I can show you. We're going to go to triggers, sound sets. I could just play this. He doesn't want to. I gotta have to split screen. And you can see he's streaming all the time. But what he's gonna do, he's gonna pipe this sound into Fantasy Grounds, and then all your players can see it. Um, and that's really all there is to it. So I'm gonna put. Um, all the links in my uh, in the YouTube channel hopefully this is helpful I'm not like a professional video streamer so there's lots of ams ums and awkward pauses so sorry but uh, 
Um, I wanted to show everybody how to do use VLC with the updated uh, live version and uh, using Tarx's awesome extension and and the ability to basically if you're doing 5e um, how it's kind of a no-brainer go buy the go buy at least one of these sound packs because Doug has already set up all the triggers for you and you could use your own sounds all right that's it thank you